Have we become too reliant on our phones? Talk to me, talk to me about that after 9 o'clock. You can send a text if you prefer from your mobile phone. And uh, Fabrizio Federico is with me now. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I make you sound well Italian when I say it, don't Yeah, I? you do the R's pretty good. Fabrizio Federico. <laughs> you, you're, you're not Italian, are you? You're from oh, Garvey. Yeah. No, I, I used to live there. I used to live in it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that. When I was a kid. Um, what exactly are you filming? Is it a film called Pregnant? Uh, yeah, Pregnant. It's not a documentary. It's a feature film. Uh, that The documentary is tomorrow that we're sorting out. But uh, Pregnant is the film that I'm sending off to film festivals at the moment and, and kind of talking about. And I've been working on that for about two years now. Okay, so yeah. is that because when you came in, I said we spoke a while back. So is that there was that pregnant we were talking about? No, right? no, we were talking about Black Biscuit. Oh, so I yes. finished. So that, that was about two years ago. So that he's flew prolific. By. This one, yeah, I <laughs> know, right? So I finished that, and the week after I spoke to, you, I went to Spain to film Pregnant. Right. So I went out there to a commune, and the, the commune they don't use internet, no phones, and it was very like open. You know, I'd never been in a situation like that for a while. So not to use any technology for a, a week was really you know opened my eyes to how it used to be when i was a kid because my generation i'm 30 now but my generation i think is one of the last ones where we remember how it was when there was no internet where there was no mobile phones we when we had to use a pay phone all the time and, and we survived i know right like you'd lose your mates for the night and you'd be stranded pretty much you couldn't get in contact with them so i just wanted to kind of bring that across into the film and to show how it is these days. I mean, I think we've almost raised a, a, an army of kidults who d- depend on Twitter and Facebook and are glued to their phones all day. And I don't think you're going to get much spiritual enlightenment from, you know, being in that situation all the time. So look out. I think we'll be talking about that more in, in, in times to come, I suspect, pregnant. So watch out for that one. Mm. Um, but this project you're filming tomorrow, then, what is it? Uh, there's just a lot happening in Derby this week. There's a lot of events. You know, it's got the carnival. There's uh, the theatre happening, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, and there's concert, there's poetry reading. So we're just going to get it all together in one day and, you know, just film it and see what happens and meet the people. So it's all going to be shot in one day? Yeah, yeah. It'd be easy to do. It's, you know, we just go from one place to another. A day in the life, eh? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to start here. I mean, you should do a bit of this. Sure, yeah. I'd be happy to <laughs> yeah, launch it from here. If you don't ask, how do you shoot this? What sort of technology do you use? Uh, f- yeah, funny enough, we use mobile phones, which is the easiest way. I mean, you know, technology has helped us in some ways, but uh, in a lot of ways, I think it's kind of stagnated us, mainly like spiritually and being enlightened that way. But uh, mobile phones is just the easiest way to do it. So, you know, we're kind of going to burn down Hollywood eventually, I think. Some people would, would be a bit mm. precious about the quality of, 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 you know, professional cameras and say a mobile phone's not going to cut it. Uh, they, they've gotten pretty good. I mean, maybe like 10 years ago they were pretty crummy, but I don't know, I kind of like that. I like it. It's kind of poetic to me. I like how crappy it is almost. Uh, but these days you can get HD on your mobile phones as well. So, And just tell me about what, the day you were filming... Well, there was the day of the Assembly Rooms fire you were filming something. Like yeah, that. Uh, that was the last day of filming Pregnant. So, uh, yeah, and the fire blazed up. And, uh, yeah, we just caught it. We just caught, like, the anarchy that was happening. Everyone's freaking out and, you know, running around going crazy. Uh, a lot of people kind of saw it as entertainment as well, you know. <laughs> there was a lot of kids, uh, you know, having the time of their life. So that's part of Pregnant. Some yeah, of yeah. It, it, oh, the film. oh, God, yeah. It's just uh, real life uh, happening. I don't really stage things with actors. Things just kind of happen and we film You see them. what you're getting, work it into the plot. Oh, yeah, but it was really interesting. It was almost like a, a shaman type of situation. People were, like, dancing around a fire. And, like It was like a pagan ritual type of thing, so we wanted to capture it. If you see a man pointing his phone at you at any point tomorrow, it may well be Fabrizio. Yeah. Thank you for coming in this morning. Yeah, be aware. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Fabrizio Federico. We'll talk about that maybe at a touch more tomorrow morning. If you're going to come in and film Hey, look, it's three minutes to nine. Let's just go back to our uh, favourite topic of the morning. I'm not going to play the song again. Really, is there a need? All the time, everywhere. Just talking to Fabrizio, the filmmaker, before nine o'clock about how, you know, our generation can remember not having this technology. And we, we kind of managed. We coped, you know. Or did we? Uh, were there some pretty hairy things that could have been prevented by smartphone technology? Do you panic when you can't get a mobile phone signal? Or do you enjoy the peace and quiet of no-one being able to interrupt you? Do you worry about spoiling the countryside with these masts so we can have better mobile phone coverage? Have we become too reliant on mobile phones? When we go out walking, do we rely too much on GPS signals on your phone rather than getting out your map and compass? Can people even use a map anymore? Do we take more risks because we think, oh, we've got a mobile, we'll be OK? Do we, do we even bother about 
knowing stuff, because you can always Google it, can't you, from your phone. Do you mind having mobile phone masks in the countryside so we can't have better, uh, so we can have better mobile phone coverage? Have we got to a point where we just rely too much on our mobile phones? Is my question to you this morning. (laughs) 